Hey, Jitsu Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Warpin? So, today's episode, we got this cool inverter here, and pretty much what this is is an inverted umbrella. For the one that we do have right here, it's a brand called Bodyguard, and this is what the product looks like when you guys do get it. One right now is to open up to show you guys what the product looks like. So, let's take off all the wrapper. Let's take off this one as well. Once you guys do take it out, here is what the product looks like. If you guys notice, for the one that we do have right here, it is a blue color. They do have this available in a few other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see what you prefer. But right off the bat, if you guys notice for the one that we do have right here, it does give you guys this very nice bag to hold the umbrella inside when you guys are not using it. And on top of right here, they do have this strap for you guys to strap it somewhere or hold it somewhere or hang it somewhere if you guys do need to, which is pretty cool. And then right here, we do have the button for the press to open it and close it automatically. And for this umbrella, when you guys do purchase it, they do have the option for you to buy a large or small size. The small size is like a 46 inch and the big size is 54 inch. So the one that I have right here is a 54 inch. But what I do right now is to take out the bag and show you guys what the inside looks like and how it does work when we do use it. So let's do take out the bag. Once you guys do take it out, this is what the inside looks like. And see right here, it does have the brand name Bodyguard on here. So that is know what brand it's from. But once you guys do take out the bag, this is what it looks like. And then here is the bottom. So before I should open this up, I do want to go over some of the specs that's on here first. So the first thing you guys can see on here, they do have the reflective tape. So that way when you guys do in a dark setting, people can see the reflection on here, which is pretty nice. The other thing that they mentioned on here is the fact that it's wind resistant or windproof up to a certain extent, depending on how you guys do hold it. Obviously, if you guys hold it in a certain way where the wind blows directly onto the actual umbrella inside, it will flip. So keep that in mind. And obviously, if you guys do use it in like a very strong storm uh, season or something, then it will also flip as well. So that is another thing to keep in mind. But in terms of the material that's on here, they mentioned how it should be rust resistant and rust proof. So it shouldn't rust over time when you guys do use it. And if you guys notice the way how they designed the umbrella for the outside right here, is not the other way how normal umbrellas are. This one's inverted, so that way the water can slide off really easily. And when you guys do open it, the water can just like falls off really easily since it is like a waterproof or like water resistant material, which is really nice. And when you guys do feel the weight of the product, it's not that heavy. It's actually pretty lightweight, which is really cool as well. But that is everything that's on the product. Now let's open up and show you guys what it looks like and how it does work. So let's do unstrap it. This is what it looks like when you guys kind of open it up. If you guys do press the button to open it. You can see how it's actually very big. So big to the point that I can't even fit it into the whole entire frame of the camera. But like I mentioned for this one in particular, it is 54 inch. So it's big enough for you guys to fit two or three people inside, which is really awesome. But when you guys do feel the fabric that's on here, it does feel really nice. It should be like a water resistant or waterproof material when you guys do use it. And then the material that's inside right here, is actually very sturdy when you guys do feel it. And throughout the side, like I mentioned, we do have the effective design so that way people can see you in a dark setting. But here's what the inside looks like when you guys do open it. If I flip it to our side, here is our side. So you can see how big the umbrella is, so that way I can give you guys a lot of coverage. Literally so big that I can't even put this in the camera. And once you guys are done using it, you can press the button to close it back up. Just like that. You can see how fast it closes up when we do use it. But for this part right here, you guys have to close up manually like this. And once you guys do that, you can strap it back on together and put it inside the bag. So that way you can use it again next time. So very easy and very simple for you to use it. And I love the fact that how small and compact it is. So that way I don't have to carry like a huge umbrella that's like really long. You can carry something that's really small like this. That's very compact, which is really convenient, especially when you guys are traveling. But that is everything that's on the product. One right now is a test out to show you guys where not the actual material on here is like water resistant or waterproof. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so right here I do have the umbrella. So one right now is to run it under water and test it out to show you guys whether or not it's actually water repellent or water resistant. So let's turn on the water first. And now let's run it underwater and see what happens. So you see how when we do run it under the water, some of the water kind of stays on. So it's not fully water repellent, but it definitely has a little bit of water repellent on here where the water can just slide off really easily. So one right now is get like a towel or something and wipe it down and show you guys what it looks like. So you see once you guys wipe it down, if I do feel it, it is dry. So I guess when you guys look at it, how it's kind of like absorbing the water on here, once you guys wipe it down, it is water repellent. Like literally when I do feel it, nothing's absorbed through the layer, which is really nice. So the umbrella itself it is water repellent, you can see. 
And just to show you guys how big the umbrella is when you guys do open it, here's what it looks like on the floor when you guys do open it on this side. Let me flip it around the other side to show you guys the other side as well. All right, so if you guys flip it to the other side, this is the other side. So you can see it's actually very big. So it will give you guys a good coverage when you guys do use it. And once you guys close up the umbrella like this, you guys can just put it down and floor like this. So that way all the water can just fall really easily compared to normal umbrella is like the other way. And the side right here, it'll be harder for it to dry out. It'll be harder for the side to kind of dry off compared to this is much easier, which is really nice. All right, going back guys. So now I saw a quick test of pot and definitely actually does work and it works quite well. And you can see how all the water just slides really easily when you guys do use it. So that way, if you guys do get water on here during the rainy season, you don't have to worry about staying on. It will just slide off really easily and that way you can use it again when you guys do need to. But top of all that, I think the coolest thing about the product is the fact that how small and compact it is, especially considering how big it actually gives you guys the coverage when you guys do use it. Especially if you guys do get the 54 inch like what I have right here. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need warranties, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality inverted umbrella that pretty much give you guys everything that I show you guys and mentioned on here, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have your warranties, that basically don't buy one and save your money something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.